Good afternoon, it's Emily Moon, and today I wanted to show you guys my strength workout. Um, I've been doing a strength cycle for about four weeks, so I wanted to show you what a typical workout looks like for me in that strength cycle. I woke up a little nauseous today. I don't know, I just haven't been feeling my best, so I'm gonna see if some breakfast helps, um, and hopefully it does, because I really wanna do this strength workout today. I started my day out, got all ready, um, Lisa and I went on like a 30 minute walk. I did some five minute yoga and then took like a 20 minute power nap while she's napping right now. I feel a little bit better, but um, let's get some breakfast in and we will see how I feel. So basically what we have is a porridge here. It's just quinoa flakes similar to oatmeal that I've mixed with coconut milk and heat up in the microwave. I do berries and honey to top it off and it's pretty yummy. I just got Ryan the Ghost Oreo Whey Protein tub secured. I have so many food intolerances that I miss out on like the finer things of life like this, but why not treat your husband while you can? Okay, so for my strength cycle, let me give you the rundown. I've been doing this for, well, three weeks. This is my fourth and final week for strength. Um, so today I will be doing three heavy lift exercises, um, five sets of three, and then I'll be doing three accessory exercises at the end, um, just like in the four set, 10 to 12 rep range. My heavy lifts today are the incline bench press, bent over row, and Bulgarian split squat. And then my accessory lifts, as long as the machines are available, are going to be the hamstring curl, the pec fly superset with push-ups, and then the assisted pull-up machine. So I'll just kind of film that, show you all of the lifts and everything. And again, last week of strength, so we're going super heavy super low rep super high tempo um so like everything is going to be slowed down a lot so we're focusing on time under tension yeah so let's go
All right, I'm done with the gym and I figured I would just do a what I eat in the day as well. So this is my post-workout meal. I'm roasting some butternut squash with some ginger, cilantro, garlic, maple syrup, and salt. And then I'm cooking some quinoa as well. We'll throw in some spinach with the quinoa. And then when these are about halfway done cooking, I'll throw on some bean sprouts and pumpkin seeds and then it'll be a really delicious bowl. So I'll show you what it looks like at the end. It's super yummy. Okay, so there's the quinoa and spinach and I'm just gonna add all of this butternut squash mixture to it. And then I will squeeze a lemon on top afterwards, but this is like very filling. You can see like I've used a lot of food here. So this will hold me over until dinner time for sure. Okay, for dinner we're having gluten-free rolls with avocado on them, ground turkey, and a whole bunch of steamed veggies. Doesn't look super pretty, but it's actually super yummy. And we're gonna watch some Bobby Flay to complement this beautifully prepared dish. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like videos like this and want more what I eat in the days and more workouts, go ahead and let me know in the comments. I'm going to be starting a new cycle soon where I'm switching up my training to be a more hypertrophy style. So if you wanna see a workout that's more like that, just let me know. I'd be happy to film one and share with you. Anyways, thanks so much and see you next time.